<laughs> Finally, we're gonna be relevant to the anime again. Indeed we are. I can't wait to get my hands on those who put us in the support only section. Draining my wallet. Well, they might even put us in the game. Maybe in that season pass they were talking about. Shut that dumb shit up, fat ass. What it is up guys, Jay here and I'm back with another video on today's topic. We are talking about the Naruto Storm 4 DLC leak. Now, everybody's just been um, flipping their lids about, you know, the Sound 4 and the uh, Shikamaru and Gara story thing and the Akatsuki secret technique and blah 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 blah. Let a real ass nigga tell you what's up. Now, we're, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm happy about this. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm upset about this. Um, it's kind of disappointing, actually. Disappointing is the correct word because you could have added any, any set of characters. It, literally anybody and it would have been better than the Sound 4. Given, yes, people in the community have been asking for, for the Sound 4, myself included. I remember, be like, oh, Sound 4 should have been in Storm 2 or Storm 3 or whatever. But it's not something worth putting behind a DLC paywall. Like... You guys understand what I'm saying? Like, think of it this way. If the Sound 4 were characters that should have been put in Storm 1, uh, possibly added in Storm 2, then there was Storm Generations. Still, Generations probably should have been the game that got them because Generations brought back, like, uh, it made the um, Part 1 characters more relevant and everything was like Generations, you know what I mean? Like, that brought all the old characters to fight the new characters and all this other shit. It was in the trailer, guys. Get it get it together. So, I think that game should have been the one that they added the sound for. But Storm 4 to add the sound for? I mean, they're old characters. They're not even relevant. I can understand if they added them in Storm 3. Storm 3, uh, it, because there was uh, the fight between the, the Edo versions with Shikamaru and... Um, What's the, what's the fat guy's name? Choji, uh, Neji, and Kiba. They ended up fighting the Sound 4 like when they were resurrected. So Storm 3. Storm 3 full burst should have had their scenarios put in there. <laughs> so, you know, um, I'm, not, I'm not digging this. I'm not happy about it. They're, they're useless. This is all confirmed by SteamDB, which is usually uh, it's the database for uh, Steam, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, besides the point, uh, and then there's the Shikamaru and Gara's Tale uh, scenario, so it's like their story, which I don't know if this story has to do with interacting with Naruto, or if this is based off of their Gaiden books, or uh, what what this shit is based on, but I, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that, but what I will complain about is the fact that there are four other books, there's Kakashi's Tale, there's, uh, actually, you know what, where are these, um... And they all take place at the same time, like, during the last Naruto movie. So, like, they're, like, right there in that time period. Um, so, I it would have been cool to see some of the other books be made into DLC. So, maybe maybe it'll happen. Maybe it'll happen outside of a season pass. But I, I don't think I'm going to see myself getting the season pass anytime soon. And then I, we'll talk briefly about this uh, secret technique for the Ikatsuki. I, why are people, like, flipping out about this? Like, oh, it's finally going to be Itachi and Kisame. No, it's probably going to be one secret technique, and you can equip it before you go into battle. So if I'm using Itachi and my partners are all Ikatsuki members, it, they will have a team ultimate jutsu. That's what it is. It's going to be all nine of the Ikatsuki, maybe even ten if they include Orochimaru, but it's probably not. It's going to be nine. All nine of the Ikatsuki members are going to be in the same ultimate jutsu. So I would, I'm really hype to see that but i don't want to pay for that um so that's probably the only thing in the dlc packs that i might get but i'm just everything that's not pre-order i'm not gonna get like right away especially if it's gonna be on st like i'm just gonna get all that extra stuff on steam when somebody makes a mod for it so <laughs> i'm not paying for the season pass for that but i will 
pay for the season pass for PS4 if I think it's worth it. If, like, I see some stuff in there that I actually want to have. But, I mean, aside from that, I'm getting the last characters, Boruto, uh, Sarada. That's pretty much it. Those are the only characters I really fucking want. Um, if this turns out to be the Sound 4, then I'm probably not going to buy that pack, whichever pack that's included in. Um, I think it's the third pack, which is the character pack. So I'm not going to buy that. But I will tell you this. Um, the costumes the, and the characters, we, let's think about this logically, how you could have made more money, CC2. Let's, let, let me talk to you for a second. CC2, I'm telling you right now, the way you should have, you and Namco, let me talk to you guys right now. The way you should have done this was you should have marketed the game with the release of the Boruto, Naruto, the movie DVD release or the Blu-ray release which is probably in february because now the i think the movie is english dub almost I, I i don't know somebody confirm this for me but on some real shit you guys should have put some type of boruto pack and some type of the last pack if not some type of um original character pack okay i would have loved to see uh lars alexander come back that would have been a great fucking character to have uh pretty much any character from the last like it, Tonary? Anybody? A anybody want Tonary? Like, I I personally don't. Like, I don't give a fuck about the guy. But, I mean, still, better than the Sound 4. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you, Are you excited about this? Um, everybody seems to be... Uh, there's a lot of ignorant comments going on or, about people uh, saying, Oh, this is definitely a DLC. Like, finally, Storm 4 has, a, you know, the Sound 4 or whatever. Like, really? Like... You people are excited for this? C come on, guys. And and some people, like, I've seen a lot of the other Narutubers um, who have talked about this. And they're just like, yeah, this is this is bad or whatever. And I go to their comment section and people are just like, oh, man, stop complaining. This is the greatest thing that could happen to Storm 4 and blah, 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 blah. Get the fucking dick out of your ass. Calm the fuck down, dude. Because some of you people are saying some of the most ignorant shit ever. Like, one dude, hold on, let me let me see if I can find this comment. Uh, oh, nice, blah, 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 playable. Uh, honestly, this was a dumb move. Okay, a lot of you guys are kind of, like, open your eyes about this. Where is this one guy? He commented, uh, oh, boy, uh, maybe, maybe we'll get Anko, too. And, like, I'm just, oh, I'm just so, so baffled by this. So, not only has this basically confirmed that support characters are no longer going to be in the game. So, any support characters that are support only aren't going to be in the game, I think. I don't know. Some, find, somebody find this information for me because I don't feel like sitting here and actually Googling this shit. Um, but that means either there are going to be support characters in the game that are just strictly support and not playable. Or, or there are no support characters whatsoever. Like, every character in the game is playable. But uh, the support only ones, like Chojuro, Ao, uh, or A, or however the fuck you say his name, they're not in the game. They're just not in the game at all. Fuck them. Get out. Um... CC2, Namco, let me talk to you one more time. I need you guys to pay attention to what I'm saying. I don't know how to say it in Japanese, but I need you guys to pay attention. The support-only characters need to come out outside of the season pass. This is what we're going to do. You've already fucked up the season pass by announcing what's in it. You're supposed to announce the season pass and don't give any details whatsoever. Don't tell how many packs. Don't tell what's in the pack. None of this shit. Because then you end up with leaks. And if you don't announce the shit that's in your season pass, you can always change it at any given time. So, what we're going to do is we are either going to announce a season pass to a, a season two or, or, get this, make DLC packs outside of the season pass. Like, this is not what I recommend. I, I, I don't want you to do things outside of a second season pass, but I mean, really, we can only damage control from here. What you need to do is create these uh, scenario packs. And in these scenario packs, you are able to unlock two additional characters, some costumes, and whatever the fuck else you want to put in there. So we'll do uh, Kakashi's Gaiden Tale. Boom. There we go. So now we get uh, Hokage Kakashi, which apparently you can only get through pre-order. Let's, let's stop that shit because that's unfair to people. So boom, we'll put him in there. So that's how you unlock that character and all these costumes. And uh, let's put Crippled Guy in there too. Not as a playable character, but as a costume. So he's got like a, it's regular guy, but with a like broken leg skin. Like just put a cast on him. There you go. Boom. Put that in there. And then we come out with a second pack. This will be the Boruto pack. And then what I want you to put in this pack 
is uh, Boruto and Sarada are now unlockable because that pre-order bullshit. Get that fuck shit out of here. Boom. There you go. You got the scenario. Put a couple of costumes in there and then add, add some other fuck shit in there. Whatever you want to do. Third pack. Boom. There we go. Uh, Naruto the last pack. So what I want you to do in this pack is include all of the, the last skins. All right. L include all of those. Boom. There you go. Um, add in, let's see, let's put Toneri. Boom. There you go. You got a fifth character. That's all you're going to fucking need. Add a couple of costumes. If you want to do that done, there's three packs right there. Fourth pack. Boom. Here we go. The last. So in the last pack, um, no, 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 not the last Gaiden. Boom. There you go. Gaiden pack. Boruto part two, uh, what I want you to do is you don't have to create new characters for this, not whole new characters, mix up some move sets, KCM Naruto, Hokage Naruto costume, whatever, make it happen, boom, Gaiden Sasuke, there you go, he's teaching Boruto the Rasengan Chidori fucking fuck shit, there you go, so two additional character costumes, okay, they're not, they're not two full characters, they're costumes for the last characters, so now when you go to the last, you can change their costume, to the Gaiden version. There you go. Two two additional characters. Add some more costumes for like Shikamaru, Gara, uh, uh, any of the Jinchuriki, ran random ass shit. Just just make up some shit. Put it in that pack. Boom. There you go. All four packs outside of the season pass. So if you want to purchase the season pass, you can. Uh, but it does not include those four packs individually. And then you could put um, a random scenario pack where you unlock the, the Sound 4 or Onco or whatever. You guys need to take these support-only characters and create reasons for them to be in the game. Do not uh, sit here and just be like, oh, Storm 4 is out. Um, here's some fuck shit. There you go. Bye. Give us your money. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I, I'm asking you. Please do not do that. Guys, make sure to give this video a like. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. This has been Jay. I will catch you guys next time. Keep it canon.